as the newest school in the city, College Park students and staff will experience a lot of firsts. And last night, it was the first ever Christmas concert. 200 students with parents and staff christened the new gym. And as Anna Knotfit explains, it was a collaboration of band students from Bar Colony, College Park, Queen Elizabeth and Winston Churchill. <laughs> Decked out with their instruments, the band put on a show they've been practicing for months. The Christmas Truce is about like the war and like how they like kind of came together at the end and celebrate Christmas to themselves. And the Winter Children is kind of just like a fun one and it like kind of brings like the carols together. I just took in a practice record today for November with 12 hours of practicing on it from one student. So they're working really hard to put these shows on and to learn about music. It's really cool to be like one of the first like grade seven band. As it's the first concert these kids have performed in the new facility, it makes it a special milestone. It's kind of like an honor to be in the school because we're the first ones that actually been here. So it's pretty cool. This is totally an honor and a privilege to be the first teacher working with students, putting on College Park's first concert. And it won't be their last. They plan to go to Jazz Works in Edmonton in the new year, but for now, they're wrapping it up for Christmas. New Cap News. Well, Christmas is less than two weeks away, which means the Santa's Elves program at Bonneville Centralized High School is in full swing. The Elves collect toys for the less fortunate, but as Fraser Snowden finds out, they're looking for more help with only a few days left to collect. The program has been running since the 70s, where high school students from BCHS gather toys around the community and wrap them for children in town. Hi. This week, they had some little helpers who brought loads of teddy bears in to help the cause. We have a teddy bear picnic at our school every year and we collect toys and teddy bears um, so that we can walk them over here and deliver them to Santa's elves. And the kids absolutely love it. They get excited about it. They know why they're doing it. They know they're doing it for um, children who don't have a lot, so it's, it's really exciting for them. And Santa Claus even made an appearance at the school to show his appreciation for them pitching in. You know, I think it's very important that these kids learn at a young age that um, the gift of giving, and I feel just absolutely blessed to be a part of that and to give that message out to these young little people. Last year, the Elves collected and wrapped more than 2,400 gifts for 335 children in town and the MD. After a tour of the Elves wrapping station, some kids understand exactly why they need to help out. Because you bring them here so they can get sent to the North Pole to give to other kids. Santa's Elves still need your help. They are short toys compared to last year. These red boxes are spread across town at locations like Mr. Mike's Steakhouse and the Red Apple, and the elves will also be at the Pontiac's game on Saturday collecting toys. The deadline for dropping them off is at 12 noon on the 17th. For New Cap News, I'm Fraser Snowden. It's going to be a busy weekend in the border city. Heather Clegas is in to give us all the details in this week's edition of What's Happening. It's getting closer and closer to Christmas and you can get in the spirit tomorrow at the Lloydminster Cultural and Science Center with their annual Christmas fantasy. They've got a whole bunch of different events planned for the entire family. You've got a chance to make a Christmas ornament. They've got a scavenger hunt. You can go snowshoeing. There's going to be a photo booth and Santa will be making an appearance as well. Admission is free. It runs from 10 until 3 tomorrow. Definitely in the festive spirit and in Wainwright, the Dance Academy is getting into the spirit of Christmas. They're putting on a special show this weekend, The Nutcracker. It'll really get you in the Christmas spirit and you've got a chance to see it a couple of times. Saturday, there's two shows, 2 and 7 p.m. and another one on Sunday afternoon. If you are headed out to see it, tickets will be available at the door at the Communiplex. Well, Christmas came a little bit early and we want to share some of our gifts with you. How? 
about this from Guns N' Roses Appetite for Democracy. It's a live DVD plus two CDs. And it was the early 90s, the last time they did a concert DVD. So this is one heck of a special item. And if you want a copy, it's really easy. All you have to do is email your name and daytime phone number to TV contest at newcap.ca. We want to say thanks to John at Universal Music Canada for setting us up with the Christmas gifts. And this tree is all decked out in its best. And make sure you've got your finest on if you're headed out to Marwayne's Christmas Gala tomorrow night. Things get underway at 8 o'clock at the hall, and there's going to be great entertainment from Tim and Sheila Gibbs. Well, whatever you choose to do this weekend, I hope you have a great one. I'm Heather Cleggis, and that's what's happening.